Hi, my name is Eric Klein. I'm excited to introduce the new build of K-Cycles called K-Cycle X. It's based on the Cycle X engine with greatly improved performance and up to two times faster than Cycle X. We also have added a new ultra denoiser with multi-pass to create amazing denoised images. And we have updated and refined most of the features and including the viewport post effects, blooms and fairs. Here's our performance benchmark chart for K-Cycle X for final render. It was done on the RTX 3090. We test were done with the same render samples, noise pattern values, transparent shadows and defaults. K-Cycle X is up to almost Two times faster. Now look our k cycle X viewport benchmark on a 3090 uh, performance with a maximized viewport using the same viewport samples of 500 noise pattern values, transparent shadows, and defaults, and up to two times faster. Uh, so you'll have much faster viewport final render times. So when we enter the render engine cycles, you'll see a k cycle X section. First thing you'll see here is, are the K-Cycle modes and we have the default which gives us the highest quality and between performance and without any presets. That usually is the one I recommend. We have one a medium which is flat faster and uses some rendering presets intelligent and we have the last mode fast with presets that give you faster K-Cycle X performance with intelligent presets. And there's also a manual mode, manually set some of the sampling sets, but usually it's not really recommended unless you're an expert user. Next up, we'll have the GPU boost that improves performance. Maximum boost, it gives you the highest performance, but it uses more memory. Second option is high boost. It uses slightly more memory than the than no boost at all, about 90 to 95 performance of the max. If you're really tight on memory, that's still a pretty good option. If you really don't have any memory at all available for the GPU on a very heavy scene and you don't have time to optimize, you can use none or no boost. That is still going to be about 10 to 15% faster than Cycle X. And the last option we have is faster viewport updates and navigation. This is only used for the viewport speed. What it does is it increases the viewport updates and navigation and it's much more, more responsive in the viewport when you are navigating the scene. Click on it and basically it'll, it'll just everything will be very more responsive. So when you're navigating or moving objects within the scene, it's always good to have this, this one on. When you're just adjusting materials and the viewport is static, I recommend this option off because you'll get into the final render faster. So you'll have a faster viewport rendering with this option off. And if you navigate, obviously you, you and a lot, you'll want to have this option checked on. We also have our post effects. They are much more flexible now. They don't require GPU. They can work with or no, no GPU, CPU, they adjust right in the viewport. As you can see, the, basically the adjustment happens after your f the sample renders are finished. It's a matter of just adjusting and now you can see immediately how it automatically changes your adjustments. You can go from white balance from a blue to yellow. You can have flares. So it basically gives you a really a big combination of options to use and very dynamic. If you want more information about it, look at all my previous uh, post effects videos that I have. So now let's look at our ultra denoiser. To select it, just click on the checkbox. The first option is multi pass, uh, which is the one that I recommend. It's done very fast before the compositor and it gives you the highest quality possible. When you select multi pass, if your scene has volumetrics, check on the volumetrics button or you also have glass or transparency use, select on the transmission. Pre filter, I recommend it off to get better detail and it's faster, but 
In certain cases, it can create some artifacts. If that's the case, slow down a little to do the noising, and it'll still be very sharp. And you can enable it on, and then you'll have the standard input passes, color, albedo, and normal. Do a our render for the sofa. We're just going to use nine render samples using the Intel Open Image Denoiser. This image usually takes longer to load than actually render. It'll render only with only nine samples, it's going to render very quickly. So this is using the CycleX Open Denoiser. And now let's and do another one and move it to slot number two. And then we'll check and do Ultra Denoiser, Multipass, we can turn off pre-filtering. We don't have volumetrics. It could be some glass, so we leave that on. We'll now hit render. And though it may take longer than, than the standard GPU, but it normally won't be much longer. We can compare the times. It only took an extra two seconds, but look at the quality. Look at the sofa, look at the texture of the sofa. This is using the standard CycleX Odin, and this is using the Ultra Denoiser. Look at that detail on the sofa, the textures. So this is Ultra in slot number two. Let me switch back to the standard Cycle X. You see how much more blurry it is. So it definitely brings an amazing amount of detail with only nine render samples. So you can definitely cut down a lot of your render times by, by reducing the amount of samples. Here's another example of an ultra denoiser using a whole scene from Greasy Bear. I'm going to, this one has volumetrics, so we'll be doing the standard CycleX Open Image Denoiser and we'll render to 16 samples. Okay, we're done. So this is the standard CycleX Open Image Denoiser. Now let's switch to slot number two, select Ultra Denoiser. Select multi-pass. Let's try the filtering off to get some better performance and more detail. Let's turn on volumetrics. There's no glass or transparency in this scene. Just have transmission off. Try the render. A volumetric scene. This is the ultra denoiser. Look at all that volumetrics with only 16 samples. And now let's switch to the to the standard Cycle X open image denoiser. Look at all the artifacts like close to the lights. Uh, with the cables at uh, 16 samples it, it definitely there's noticeable artifacts all over the image it took six and a half seconds with the ultra denoiser it took almost no much different in time but look at the diff the quality on the volumetrics at 16 samples look at the detail and how full the, the volumetrics look this concludes our introduction to ultra denoiser and how good you can get your images with the multi-pass option well, this concludes our introduction to K-Cycle X with all these new great features. Thank you for watching. See you next time.